I totally intended on filming way earlier than this, but to be quite honest with y'all, I woke up and just didn't feel like filming at all. It's so weird. I had like this whole thought probably like, oh yeah, this is how I'm going to start the video. I was going to do the same thing where I was like making my cup of coffee again, but as you can see, coffee has already been made and it's honestly like lukewarm. Ever since getting one of these, um, it they work really well, too well, in fact. The the it, it's hot for far too long, especially if you have like the top closed. So what I like to do is like just leave it sitting for a bit, go do some runarounds because I want to be able to pick up my coffee and just drink it. But sometimes I leave it there and it it's for too long, and now it's lukewarm. So I haven't figured out like the perfect wait time, but I don't know why I just told y'all that. <laughs> So right now I'm in the middle of doing tax. Well, I already like did all of my taxes, most of them. Um, but my CPA hit me back. Shout out to D uh, Dixon's Pickens who put me on to Cheryl because that's who I'm having doing my taxes. Um, but they just hit me back and was like, yo, we need to fix this stuff, do this stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm like fixing some stuff. Some like there's things that I thought that I could write off that I couldn't. So just as a heads up, if you don't use your car, well, listen, I'm not a tax expert, but this is what my CPA just told me. If you don't use your car 100% just for your business, um, you can't write off the expenses like uh, your, um, what is it called? Your uh, car loan and, and insurance and stuff like that, which sucks. But at least you can get right off tolls and parking tickets. <laughs> we need some new, uh, we need some I just had to show you how my dog's saying, what was that, buddy? <laughs> okay, all of that is done. So is my coffee, unfortunately. I kind of want a second one, but uh, we're going to hold off on that. Um, shout out to my homie Shane. I watch Shane literally every Monday morning. Every morning I can, honestly. But I got to turn him down for right now. He's probably going to get me in trouble with this video. YouTube is crazy with the whole, because, you know, he's playing a game to so the music. I don't trust YouTube and their music stuff. But um, I do have some light listings. This I already listed um, last night. This is Sandland um which is a a manga of a uh, a Kara Toriyama game that's about to come out and uh this is like I think this is like either the last game or one of the last games before his unfortunate and untimely passing um so uh I found this this is the first print one um yeah, this is the first print. They're up to the sixth print right now, which is insane. So the first print one is it's pretty rare and pretty hard to find. Um, so I listed that, and I just have like some other stuff to list, just a couple odds and doodads to to get listed before um, I go out today. We gotta hit the gym today. Um, I have I sold ten things over the weekend, and man, that's partially. I mean, the, the title of the video. Like, I you already know, like, because I already knew going in what I wanted to talk about. And it's just, you know. Just like that, well, let me turn my homie Shane down. Just like that, we are done uh, taking pictures. It wasn't a lot. I think like four items. There was a couple things that I put to the side that I was going to list. Like this, uh, what is this called? Dragon Touch, this Android tablet. A um, couple other things. Like um, this little Sony Walkman. This little Philips Walkman thing. Um, there's an event that happens in my area. Uh, what is it? It's to call the swap meet and you're basically like in this garage and everybody has their car and your table set up and just selling it. It's kind of like a flea market. It's like a flea market ish. And um, I go to that every year. That's actually how my whole video game reselling career thing started, honestly, with going to that swap meet. So I'm going to I always like take some items and set them to the side. I'll probably sell these for like three bucks, five bucks or something like that. 
at the swap meet versus trying to get like ten dollars or something on um ebay for them so yeah i always put some items to the side just to oh yeah this is a swap item this is ebay swap i kind of how people separate the ebay items from the whatnot items i do that with the swap meet speaking of whatnot i've actually been really considering um getting into whatnot on by using clothing which y'all know i don't deal with clothing at all like and I, I, the, uh, there's a lot of problems that i have with going into clothing one of them is like like storage and stuff like another thing the major thing the biggest thing is actually dealing with it like you gotta like make sure you don't get stains and blah and then when you're taking pictures you gotta like measure the angles and oh it's it's truly a headache that i don't want like i'd much rather deal with electronics that could either work or not work simple as that deal with that versus dealing with like all the measurements and all the noise and is this boys is this girls is it women's it's, it's just too much for me but with that being said when it comes to whatnot i've been really considering of getting into clothing just for the sake of having things because you know dealing with electronics doesn't really work too well i was talking to j ride flips about this um, during one of his live streams and it's, it's like we have specific things a remote control uh, cam cameras everybody wants camera but like a DVD player who wants who's specifically looking for this Sony STR-887 DVD you know what I'm saying like it's super specific stuff that people want that they're like searching for on eBay for not on not like a what not bid but like clothing is really easy oh it's an extra large black and red flannel that's very universal a lot of people would want to wear something like that and so i, I and, and the reason why i've been thinking about getting into um just whatnot in general the fast flipping on whatnot is because oh man so much has happened been happening in my life and it's just it's making me come to a a real realization like i had to really like sit down look myself in the mirror and be like yo key you can't do live like this forever bro like i saw this video from fast talking flipper there was another one from um kicking and punch i always get his name mixed up i think it's like kicking and punching something like that flipping and punching maybe um but i saw videos from them and even uh shane soda city flips i saw videos they're like oh yeah you know i use my uh reselling to pay off debts and um which I'm working on a video that's like way far from out, like way after this one, but that's a future video that I'm working on. And uh, exclusive to the, I, I changed my name by the way, y'all probably don't even notice, but my name, the channel name is now, it's Key, just Key. Um, no longer, I'm just Key Flips or whatever. And then I changed the handle. I couldn't take Key, couldn't take just Key. So I changed it to Cup of Key. Isn't that cute? Cup of Key, like cup of tea, cup of, cup of me. But yeah, so they was doing all these things and then like flipping uh, and punching and, and uh, Fast Talking Flipper was talking about how like you always need to reserve. You got to make sure that you got this cash to anything can happen, whatever. You got to make sure you're good to go. And I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm looking at my finances. I'm looking at the books and I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute now. Like if something goes down, like for right now, right? I'm I'm in a, I'm living in a cycle. My reselling business is just in a constant cycle of sameness. It's like every sing I get I get a weekly payout. So every single week I get in money and it's gone. Just like that. To go into paying off the 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 credit the business credit card bill and getting new um new inventory and uh like just random supplies and stuff like that's why i'm literally in a walmart parking let's go inside actually so yeah as i was saying um i'm looking at the books like bro this isn't they ain't something ain't right like last year this time i was good money i was i had constantly something that i was sitting on i was good to go um but now this time around it ain't like that <laughs> like yo i can't and i think part of it a big part of it is um me getting the credit card itself i feel like once i got the credit card once i was like yeah we swipe for it boom we good money boom i started over swiping and when it came time for the check to come in the ebay check to come in i gotta pay back that card and like dude i'm just missing out on like quality opportunities sometimes because honestly i have no idea where i'm going i'm just like walking around i need uh jewel cases um i ran out of jewel cases for when i sell disc only games but um one time somebody emailed me and um let's put y'all right here no that's too high it's kind of too low okay right here is fine one time somebody emailed me and was like yo 
Um, I got all these games. I'll sell them all to you. I have like sixty thousand dollars worth of games. Um, I don't want them anymore. You can you can have them. I'm like, Sixty thousand. I have nowhere near that kind of capital. I can't. I'm like what? <laughs> like, but there's opportunity. If there was another opportunity to come by, where somebody like I just wanted to do another big buy, I can't. I can't hop in. I can't do that. We ain't got it like that. Hey. So moving forward, um, I'm making a conscious decision to hunker down, to actually pay attention to my numbers, my finances. I'm no longer using my credit card, my business credit card. Um, everything is going to be a debit. I, yeah, I was, I was really just chasing them points, man. I got I'm addicted to the points, but I've just come to terms. I'm just not good, financially, capable of. What am I trying to say here? I'm not good at handling money. <laughs> on my own i just i need like a financial if i could afford a financial advisor somebody to run my money for me like yo can i buy this right now <laughs> like i need that because i can't do it on my own it's just it's just not possible for me um so i need to be i need to work with hard cash that's what i've decided that's what I, i'm just yeah as much as i would love to um rack up those points get the get the free money um it's just not it's just not in the books for me here we go this is what i was looking for oh this one's open somebody stole something i don't want those this one what's this oh okay yeah 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 i'll take one of these so i actually uh i ended up getting two because you can't even see so, yeah i ended up getting two because uh these last me a really long time one one pack comes with 50 so i have 130 dollars um yo but to make matters even worse when did I get hit? Yesterday? Yesterday, I think it was. I got into an accident like um, uh, months ago, probably like five months ago. Small, super duper duper small accident. Like no damage done or whatever, but the person I accidentally like bumped them a little bit. They still wanted to put in a claim. They did. And my insurance went up $200. 200 Is insurance not a scam? Hear me out. Let me let's let me break this down really quick. So I pay a certain payment every single month as insurance. Um, nothing happens, nothing's going on, but I give them every money every month to to make sure that if something does go happen, something does go down, that I'm covered. Okay, so something happens, and then it goes up. Now I got to pay more because something. So if nothing happens at all. I just keep paying the same. You don't have to cover anything because nothing happened, but I keep paying you the same. As soon as one thing happens, doesn't matter how big or small it is, as soon as one thing happens, it goes up. How does that make somebody please that's an adult? Because I'm 35 years old and I'm learning, I'm just now learning how the world works. <laughs> yeah. I just don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But I brought it up because I put everything car related on the business, but my insurance, my car payment, gas, all that, whatever it, it is. And I obviously hurts my monthly business bottom line and by $200, um, you know, may not be a lot to y'all, but like, bro, I'm over here like, the bite and the sting it hurts so bad but there's also more than just that you know like the reason why i was really considering getting and whatnot and doing that fat, fast flipping for cash is because I, I you know i have more business endeavors like there's more to me than just reselling like i have so many thoughts and ideas raging around in my brain but it requires funding and funding i don't have so i and i, and I really want to find a way to fund these projects one project in particular that i have been um slowly picking away at and sometimes not even at all let's be honest here um but i've just been slowly picking at it for the past 10 years and i've i've held down a domain name for the project for the past five years literally paying for it every year for the past five years and and not using it i have documents folders and stuff like that of of ideas i've had for this project it just takes a whopping amount to get it started and i can't do that <laughs> i have no i'm i'm honestly considering or no i'm definitely going to sell a lot of my personal projects because i'm um, not not projects my personal items because i don't i don't want to put this off any longer like i'm ready to st I, I don't i'm not going to give up on myself anymore like i somebody said who was it? i think it was like denzel washington or something he was like, 
uh, take your time, but don't waste time. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've been wasting time. I've not been actively working at this project. That's honestly, it means a lot. The story behind it is very deep. Um, and it, it just, this project means a lot to me and I've not actively worked on it really at all, but now I'm ready to, so I'm going to sell a lot of my personal stuff. I have some figures, I have a ton of comic books, um, and I'm going to start off with those. I'm going to sell all that, but beyond just that, that's not going to get me to the amount that I'm looking to get, you know? Back at the storage unit, looking all clean and beautiful, but I ain't going to lie. It wasn't my doing. It was my, <laughs> I hired my sister's cleaning company to come in here. And because I let it get away from me a little bit again, it wasn't too crazy. She was done in like 10 15 minutes, probably, but it was still more than I wanted to deal with. I've been saying for like 500 years that I need to get like a light in here. Oh, there we go, you can see me better. Um, but I still haven't gotten one. I'm waiting for my computer to oh, here it goes. Um, but yeah, anyways, as I was saying. Me selling my personal items isn't going to be enough to uh, start up the project that I want. So I'm looking at other ways to add revenue beyond just eBay. And um, that's why I've been thinking about whatnot. I've been on, I went on a very long spiel about whatnot in my uh, project. But the project does really mean a lot to me. It really does. And um, I would love to see it to fruition. I would love to at least give it a, um, a better try and fail than to literally not try it all and just keep it at or like on a dream board or something like that. I want it, it, it in the physical world. But uh, how have y'all sales been? I got 10 orders for $423.18 over the weekend. So this is from Friday to Sunday, which isn't terrible. Like I'm used to like more like 15 to 20 orders roughly-ish. Dude, during the winter season, forget about it. We looking at 30s and 40s. We're far cry from that. A Need for Speed game, which I think I showed this game in the most recent video that I... Uh-oh, 982, what, was it 983? 983, hold on, don't tell me I don't, oh dear. I just had my sister consolidate, so they should all be in, hold on. Okay, Um. honestly, I have no idea where it is. It's not where it's supposed to be, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna have to move on and uh, check my apartment, I guess. I, yeah, I really, uh, that's really weird. I don't know where it is. But this next one, I'm pretty sure I definitely saw. So this should be here. It's 923, yeah, here it goes. Devil May Cry 1 and 2 um, for PS2, of course. I don't know, I don't think it came out for any other console. But this sold for 1288 plus shipping, of course. I always do plus shipping. Um, the next one is another item that, honestly, I have no idea where it is. It, I think it might be in here. It's a, um, it's a Wii Mote controller that, uh, has Motion Plus, but it's special because it's, like, pinkish, like a peach type color. Um, I remember listing this, um, but... I don't, like, I remember, because I do a lot of end cell similar. Um, shout out to Fast Hawk and Flipper for that. I wake up every single morning, and I manually end all of the uh, games or whatever, all of the items. Dang, it's so dark. All of the items that was supposed to, that's going to be ending and relisting by itself that day, and I end them all. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 10. You know, I end them all. And I remember seeing this on, um, and because you know it goes to like the unsold folder, and then I launched like ten um, sell similars so that it looks like new listings. And um, so this was in there, but I this is another item that I have no idea where it is. This is not good at all, dude. And here I am thinking I have like the perfect system, like. But uh, nothing is perfect, just as humans, things are flawed. And look what I found buried deep at the bottom of my Wii Mote controller bin. Here it goes, I sewed this Wii Motion Plus, like pink peach type color, I guess it's more pink, for uh, $14.88 plus shipping. And you know, I actually really struggled with whether or not I wanted to film this, telling y'all this at all, because you know, you're putting yourself out there, even more so than being in the middle of a Walmart telling people your business. Like, you're also telling people that, as you know, you're a business person or businessman, business owner, 
and you're not good with money like you're you're failing up i guess that's what i'm kind of i don't know if i'm failing up i'm feeling i'm it feels like i'm failing stagnant like i'm not going up i'm not going down i'm not moving at all it's just a constant cycle and um you're telling however many views this video gets i don't know shout out to everybody that watched my last video though that one got like two thousand views i appreciate y'all sorry i haven't put out a video in like a month it's just been you know the my mental destruction of like oh you're you're you're, you're surviving you're living just ebay check the check right now and it's just like Am I doing this right? Am I doing? I'm not. Am I good at this? Should I continue doing this? I don't know. It's just you know a lot of thoughts go through your mind. And I saw shout out to my homie Rio Janeiro. I saw one of his videos and it really, really, really inspired me to uh, get my project up and running. And that kind of lit a fire under me. Like yeah, no, I'm doing this. I'm, I I want to do this. This is what I love doing. And so um, I I want to find a way to take this make this better and then um dive into my other projects and actually get those off the ground and stop just writing them down in a book or something like having computer files of all this stuff you want to do like the store it's like back in the day i used to make video games uh, little rpgs and it's like the world building part that's the fun part like writing stuff down well i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that when it comes to actually getting stuff done getting the game made you know getting the blocks built the characters actually built get, getting the projects actually off the ground the hard stuff that's when it are you really down for this do you really want to do this when things get harder um but I, and it's something i'm ready to do it's something i'm really really ready to do i sold minecraft for um ps3 for eight dollars and 33 cents plus shipping which this definitely uh sold on an offer that i sent out i do 15 percent offers ever so often um i hear people do them every day how often do you do your offers i kind of let them rack up i'll send out like i don't know i'll get like a rack up of like 60 70 people um watching my items and then i'm like okay i guess i'll send out like 25 offers or something i don't do offers a lot oh this next one came from a video that um i just recently filmed but it's it's a it's a ways i have like five videos in the clip dude more than that maybe for the main channel it's crazy i i kind of just edit them i think i might edit one today a new one today but it's the champions of norath both of them uh what is it called return to arms and champions of norath and then champions return to arms they this sold for 78 88 plus shipping which is fire because i got this in a bundle of a ps2 and i don't know how many other games there's a good amount of games for a hundred dollars so this is like honestly i think this puts me in a profit um because i've sold a ton of other games from that from that bundle too so that's super sick then we got a disc only game from a video that that isn't on my main channel yet either <laughs> i'm so behind it's crazy um but it's a disc only so let me put the camera down here it is uh this is operation flashpoint red river i don't know what it is but disc only this game sold for 1480 plus shipping so this could be a bolo disc only i mean 15 dollars 20 dollar game essentially um if you find it complete i don't know maybe 35 40 dollars i truly don't know but $20 disc only is really good. We only got a couple of items left here. The last two are the big ones and they happen like randomly on a Sunday, like just like back to back. I thought honestly, I thought it was the same person making a double purchase. That's how closely in proximity they were to each other. I think it was 864. Yeah, here it goes. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> what? Oh, 894. Yeah, 894. Okay. Here we go. This was um I think I got this from my plug yeah i'm pretty sure yeah, yeah 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 the video is out on my main channel i think it's my most recent as of me filming this but this is like a bundle of a stack of um xbox og uh official magazines games and in here one of the demos two of them actually were really good ones one of the demos is of conquer's bad fur day for the og xbox and another demo is for uh def jam fight for new york so that's super sick and this pack uh, sold for $38.88 plus shipping. And there's how many demos? One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 demo discs in here. So I, I think that's pretty good. $40 plus shipping for 11 demo discs? Not bad. Oh, wow. My battery's actually dying. So I actually need to hurry. Bro, 
that is savage. My battery literally died in the middle of me saying I need to hurry up because it's dying. That's crazy. I'm on my phone right now, so sorry for the dip in quality. But um, yeah, I sold this OG PS3. It's only a 40 gig, so it didn't go for anything crazy. 58, 88 plus shipping for the OG PS3, um, 40 gig, and it has, you know, controller, wires, all that good stuff. Nothing else besides that though. No games or anything. And then the last item um, is this right here. This Toshiba, I got, I want to say I got it for $10 at a thrift store. I definitely got it at a thrift store. I just don't remember how much I paid, but I'm pretty sure it was $10. And this sold for $38.88 plus shipping. And I want, it was probably in my store for about like a month, maybe. And that's almost everything that I sold besides the game that I got to go back to my apartment and look for. There's also this Rugrats VHS set. Now that I'm looking at it, though, I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> like the, the all grown up one is kind of sick, but um i got these last summer dude at a freaking uh this big buy not a big buyout but i spent four hundred dollars and i bought like three bins of games that video was crazy um but yeah this little pack here sold for 15 20 plus shipping which obviously means that i sent out some kind of offer but those are back at my apartment as well because i was keeping them there just in case they never sold so i was gonna bring them to the swap and sell them at the swap but that's everything um thank y'all for coming to my camp Candid key video uh i still gotta hit the gym today and um i'll catch y'all in the next one <laughs>